Yeah, good day, everyone, and today you're welcome to the Setcher's Look family. I remain Jacket Soluani Setcho, and I have with me. This is that Setcho, the most handsome, yet capable African issues, adrenaline pumping a physic by one husband. And as usual, we are here with another blockbuster. Buster! <laughs> yeah, today we're gonna be discussing on the updates on all the African youths we are empowering through the Cetrus Foundation. And I know so many of the followers of this uh, foundation on this matter, you've been expecting the quarterly updates. And today we're gonna be starting with Jamila. Hmm. Yeah. Talking about Jamila, Jamila happens to be one of the northern youths in Nigeria that we empowered while in school. Uh, we got her a sewing machine because she's interested in becoming a fashion designer. And today, we have the following updates. Yes, Jamila is doing well right now. The challenge is just that she's still an undergraduate and universities in Nigeria are currently on strike. Our sewing machine is in school. So there's no way. And due to the insecurity in Nigeria and so many different states in Nigeria in the north, she wasn't able to take the machine home so we spoke with her just yesterday and she said it's been ethic that just like that they just threw them out of school for months now they are not even saying anything there is nothing and she's just at home the thing is paining her because this is a girl that is already showing great skills just within one month that she started learning this fashion she's great she's industrious selling boxers in school to to to, to, to fend for herself and I just gave her some other clues on how she can make it and we told her that we'll, we'll see her doing some things. And for those of you that are outside the country that you might not really understand what it means that school are going on strike. Hmm. In Nigeria, going on strike is like the hair we breathe when you're going to school in Nigeria. We breathe the hair up. If you have to spend four years in the university, just add a minimum of one year or two years or better still, one and a half years. Or three it. years. You know, no, no, don't let us go into three years. Let's just be considerate. When the economy of Nigeria is very calm, they can only add like one and a half years to your normal stay in the university as a result of, as a result of strike which can be longer than usual so jamila is caught in between the cogmire uh, so jamila is caught in between the cogmire she's at home now the machine is in school and there is no way she could send updated reports yeah the number two on the list is no other person than while we were about moving to number two you can guess what just happened somebody just arrived with noise high level noise uncle so we are going to be shooting the rest part of this video with bros victor around now we are talking about number two and number two is kajum the vulganizer yeah we discovered this orphan boy in one of the remote villages in oyo state which happens to be a state in nigeria we enrolled him to train as a vulganizer the beautiful thing is that this young boy has been doing great and the last we heard about him is that he has been consistently improving. Presently, we are having a conversation with his boss in which we are going to be talking of the celebration, the freedom, the graduation of this young boy and where we are going to get for him to be able to what? To practice what we have paid an external facilitator to train him at. We are so proud to be raising a young orphan boy as a what? As a mini engineer in what? Vulcanizing. And you know the in thing about the guy is that the boy is so optimistic. He said, He said, For God, he more fair call. Most if I could just share to my team, I share a lot in way. He went and met me said, I want to learn organizing and I want to do great at it. And I want to tell you, he's already doing great because the last time we sent money to him, he had that, he had no money. money. He had savings already, and that's why we're proud of this orphan boy. Koyum is going places. And number three, it's no other person mm. than mm, mm, the one that is making us proud in, and that is no other person than Sophia the 
What's what's that stitches? Sophia stitches. <laughs> Sophie stitches. <laughs> Sophia happens to be a very intelligent evil girl. I, I intentionally picked that word, evil girl. We discover something in this program. Anytime we help an evil child, their result is always outstanding because they outperform better than most other tribes. And I'm a Yoruba person. I'm not from the Igbo tribe. But I give kudos to that tribe because they are always up and running with ideas that you give to them. The Igbos are the eastern... Uh, the Igbos are those from the eastern part of Nigeria. Yes. And it's not all. It's some persons... Let me say creativity is in the mind of a child. Some persons will pick them up and... They were lazing off. Mm. But this girl is even far younger than such. Yeah. She just took up. She, we never knew her from anywhere till date. We've not seen physically, but we've been seen as in live. On, as in, we, we are seeing our work. We're seeing each other. And we're so, so happy. We got to know Sophia when we started our foundation 2020. I think May precisely. She just reached out to her. She said, I want Central Foundation to... Uh, we've not even had a, a foundation then. No. Our foundation was not approved. She just reached she, out to our YouTube channel. That I want you to help me. I am an... Uh, my mom... Our mom was dead. And she... Our step uh, stepmother, she was staying with them. Our father, this and that, that. She wants to learn fashion. We thought she was never serious. The person we even thought was serious is nowhere today. So so we just said, okay, let's give her a try. We sent for our training. We sent the money for our training. Before you know it, she, she, she started showing us her designs. We bought her machine. Oh, this girl started. She going. went ballistic. She went ba ballistic. She went ballistic to the extent that this girl, after she finished the first training, she used her own money, her own personal money, to go and register for, for another that, for training, which is a male fashion training. Immediately we heard of that, we reimbursed her the money she spent on that. Would you know that this girl now, she has completed uh, the beginner's class and uh, intermediate in female fashion, and she has done beginners in male fashion. Now, surprisingly, she has gone to learn art making. Yes. She's making a whole lot of edges and the likes of them that Fasc you'll be seeing in the video. She's making fascinators, auto gillets, and the likes. And you know that those things are really money now. And this, this, this guy is making us proud in, if there's any English like that. Yeah, and the next person which will be standing in as number four is Mama J. Mm -hmm. Mama J happens to be the bricklayer lady that we picked up from all your states, Western Nigeria, West Africa, the globe, and... She was actually there for what? Some hard labor activity, uh, which is called brick laying. Those are the constructing sites here in Africa, in Nigeria, to be precise. And we looked at her, the kind of every equipment, stones, and the like that she was carrying as a lady is not something that you can even think of. So we decided to wait in to assist her. Presently, she has completed her training. In makeup artistry we bought her our first beginners kit and presently we have concluded with the boss for our graduation we paid the money for our graduation we paid for our certificate and uh, we've also paid uh, the photographers and this the photographers and the videographer because they are outside Lagos state where we are they are somewhere far there central north of Nigeria and as a result of this in few weeks time you'll be seeing the graduation ceremony of this young lady that is beaming with smiles after being helped by our little foundation that is going places okay so with that being said we wish you mama j in case you are watching this we wish you success in your newest endeavor and we hope that you'll be of best character but we had a lot of challenges with her before now because i will always give a balanced update about each of these youths when we sent money to her, because the tradition demands here in Africa that when the youth are graduating, their parents are supposed to be the one to officially take the money down to their trainer for blessings, for uh, what's it called now, for the blessings of the trainer on the particular craft they've learned. So we decided to break our protocol of paying directly because 
all these youths that we have been training, we have refused to put money directly into their hands so that we can prevent the temptation of any of them spending the money on something else. But in this particular case, based on the fact that it's an African tradition, that they need to take the money to their trainer, we paid into the account of one of the family members. But I tell you, after some weeks, they were not picking our call. And we were like, wow, does it mean that they want to embezzle this money, this little amount of money on their, on their own personal self, neglecting what we have spent money to train her for, for our own future benefit? But we thank God that at the end of the day, they later reach out to us to explain their challenges to us and we somehow uh, seem to understand with them. So they've already gone ahead with the family members because they were trying to look for family members that would go with her to go and pay the money to the boss, which we believe there was a break in communication there. But presently they paid to the trainer and in few weeks down the line, the ceremony, the graduation ceremony will commence and you'll be part of the uh, people to know about it. Uh, you know, when we did the one of the upholstery guy right here in Lagos, Makoko, it was that easy because yeah. we are in the same city, the city of Lagos, so we could just go directly and pay to mm -hmm. his trainer, that, which happens to be his birth, and he got the blessings and the like. And the guy is doing great now. That's building, that's the next word. But before we go to that, now we cannot travel outside our state because in case you don't know what is happening in Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria is not as easy as before because I know a lot of you are followers you'll be wondering ah, why, why am I not doing my traveling to all these villages to go and pick this youth now <laughs> it is very very delicate for you to even move anything from 7 30 8 at night even in your own city yes talk less of going to somewhere that most of the time I get there late I'm looking for a hotel to stay and they know that you are just new there. We just have to be very careful till security improves in this country. Kidnappings yeah. is on the high side. Money rituals, killings, different things, rapings, and everywhere. In fact, even in your own compound, you just have to watch out for your kids. Yeah. You don't have to make sure you're, except you're the only one living in a duplex and it's really secured. But if you're staying with neighbors, mm -hmm. It has gotten to that extent right now in Nigeria. You could just ask. You just have to watch out for your kids. And just traveling, there is a particular state now that you cannot even assess by air. You can assess by train. You can assess by road in Nigeria. And it's becoming a concern. So I just know that you're sending in your prayers to us here in Nigeria. And this youth help thing, it's not going to die. So we've been calling to follow up on different uh, youths that were empowering in different states we are getting their updates and that's why we just we know that so many lovers of this youth would have been saying what's happening to the settlers no we are never keeping cool and the ones even in these are uh, estates you are reaching as uh, yesterday i still reached out to them we they they have this style of training the ones we are we are really doing that for them and you still be hearing so many updates we are still doing the work of the youth because it's a passion that's what we are living for so the next person we, we just say something that's number five just say something about biodu biodu is now doing great that was the last person we did graduation for in upholstery from makoko not upholstery biodu is into carpentry okay and presently biodu has been doing well he has been getting contracts from this and that hotel and presently you want to hear Biodu is married and the wife just put to bed. <laughs> <laughs> the wife just delivered a bouncing baby. Is it boy or girl? You'll find out later when we'll be talking about that. So that's, that's that update on Biodu. Yes, okay, you could show some of its uh, work. Yes. So apparently we are turning out to be grandfather and grandmother here yeah. because this was a youth that we picked up from nowhere to somewhere and now she can con he, he can not she he can conveniently take care of his family and we celebrate with him and his family his beautiful wife on the birth of their baby yeah so, and number six is bright that is learning 
computer coding in computer. Yes. Computer coding in computer. Whatever. Okay, let me come in. Bright happens to be a young boy that is based in the city of Ibadan, one of the ancient iconic town in what? Or iconic city in West Africa, the largest city in Africa. Bright uh, reached out to us that all he just wanted was to do or to do coding and there was no support for him. We, hearing this, we enrolled him the same day and afterwards we paid for his training. And the young guy came crying to us that there was no laptop for him to practice what he has been trained at. One of our supporters get a wind of this and decided to send in a hard end laptop, which was delivered to Bright. And um, for those of you that have been following us on this uh, youth development, Bright came singing with the mom, appreciating us for the laptop that was delivered to him, and now he can improve at his work. But something happened. After about three weeks or one month later, we couldn't reach out to Bright. And as the result of the fact that traveling in between uh, states in Nigeria has not been that easy, we have been trying to see how we can reach out to Bright because his phones are not going through and we are wondering what must have happened. Maybe it's possible that his, stone, his phone was stolen or we just want to pray that nothing has happened yes, to this young yes, boy because yes. we know him to be a very bright boy, always very, very ready to talk to us about almost anything. So, Bright, mm. there's anybody that is in no. the city of uh, Ibadan, please help us reach out to the family of Bright so that we can get to know what is happening. I just pray that Boy, he is safe and sound because that child is a very brilliant because one. Because till date, we've been trying we've to been reach trying. him, but the lines are not reachable. Yeah. And, and we, know, we know his family. Uh, the little we know about his mother, we don't have his mom's number, but the little we know about them, they are so, so grateful for the support this foundation has given to them. So for us not to be able to reach him now till date and there is no call, nothing from him, it call, is a call for concern. So we are using this opportunity. If you know Bright, kindly help us tell him to look for how he can reach to us. Or he can reach out to us, or if you know his family members, let us just have an update. We pray that the young man is safe because a lot has been happening in this country. Number seven, we'll be talking about the youths that are into auto mechanics from the same city of Ibadan and also upholstery. So, hmm. what's the update? With respect to the upholstery guy and the youths in auto mechanics training, we spoke with their father with their guardian rather. We spoke with their guardian and uh, we are expecting their video to be sent to us uh, within some few hours. We want to believe that before the editing of this video, don't mind the way we are reporting it, we want to believe that before the editing of this video, the update video would have been sent to us because we have not been able to go into their states for security reasons. And we are also using this to appeal to any of our beneficiaries. Always give us timely updates because that is vital, especially now that we are not going to be able to go into anywhere that is outside our state because of the security situation in Nigeria. So if you are not giving us an update on the ad end money that people are using to support your youth, just know that you are closing the door against the youth in your state and that will not be nice there are so many others i could name five ten just like that are still remaining that we are yet to get their recent update so we think we might be doing that some other time yeah i think we might be doing that some other times uh so we're going to end today with the success story we have with us that is at the backstage can you imagine the person that is the number eight and the last person for today's update is no harder person than michael, michael Lee. Lee. Mimo. 
He's actually behind the camera. He's... We are going to invite him here because <laughs> you need to see him talk. Yes. Mm. You need to see him talk. <laughs> you know, Michael, mm. Michael has been our wonderful baby. We met him. You know the story already. You if you don't know the story, the story just come. Mm -hmm. So right now, Michael is now employed by Cetros Foundation. In fact, help us to praise God for that. That we could start the training mm -hmm. of this youth. The fact that Michael has started being employed with us. He right, he's right now with us, working super seven in the foundation's hub and doing so many uh, work and the other, although we have our fighting themes and working themes. <laughs> we fight with him, we work. We just want like him me. to come in now yeah. and use his own mouth to tell the whole world what he has learned. In yeah, short, yeah. I'm going to give him space. Oh, yeah. Let him give come me and space, tell us. I will handle the camera now. Yes. He is going to open his mouth. Please watch out. Michael, before now, Cannot even, can express even express himself. himself. We, when you are talking to him, it will be like. When you are the, mom, 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 mom. when he wants to give, greet you good evening mm -hmm. or good morning, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you don't get know. me. But I now you. you will see another Michael. He now talks. He's improving by the day. But give us another six, nine months. You will be seeing Michael talking the way I'm talking. You yeah, understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yes, now. You will fear fear. You will fear fear. <laughs> because he did something today with the security <laughs> men. And I said, oh, so you can talk. <laughs> so let's give it up to Michael. Michael in hey. Welcome to the podium, Michael in hey, hey, Oh, yeah, you have the floor. Your experience with Cetros Foundation. Intro, uh, Mimo yourself. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Michael to talk by name. I'm one of the beneficiaries of Sertus Foundation and now being employed by Sertus Foundation. And my little experience here is very good. I've enjoyed most of my time and now I've been improved on my editing and my camera settings, everything. And I thank God for everything. I bless God. <laughs> oh yeah, more, 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 what more. About ginger, your... ginger. <laughs> How about this? What about your uh, what's it called? Your video, uh, musical video experience. It's, yes. Oh. That was my actually my first time. I participated in the musical video that was done recently from the Central Studio. It was my first actually my first time doing such, and it's very good. Uh, that's man. I actually liked it. This was amazing. Get get Whoa. get get. So, you... <laughs> what would you say to other youth that are in need of help? What should they do? For every youth that are out there that are in need of help, can you shout to Cetros Foundation so they can help you in training you in some crafts to learn some hand and work and the others. And I'm sure you become great in life. Hey! Yeah, yeah! Hey! Can you just imagine what has happened now? This Michael that came here, he can't express himself. I, I remember exactly this time last year. Mm -hmm. Now it's 2021. Michael reached out to us. We sent him for training in uh, Studio 24. The foundation paid for his uh, training in photography. So he called, oh, Ma, I'm looking for a place to do my internship. Abby. What is it called? Yeah. Uh, there's no place. We said, don't worry. The foundation is going to get a place very soon. And as at that time, we do we not have, have any space. Any, any space, so any foundation space. We just said, we're going to get a space and you're going to be employed. And before you know it, September last year, the miracle mm. happened. God sent people and God sent someone and it's everything. It's, it's, it's now what you're seeing in reality. And this is the Cetros Foundation's physical, first physical up. Because Cetros Foundation is going places. Let's just take it that way. This is the Cetros Foundation's first physical orb and you can see uh this youth we're so happy that there's a success story so the youth was trained by the foundation right now he's employed he's on probation we are watching him training and that's what we said it's not just about their training it's about character yeah talent isn't enough mm -hmm. so it's about character so every day we'll we fight with him, we tell him, this is it, then we'll smile again, then we'll go back to it, then we'll go to the table, this is how to do it, this, and that's how we're going to build great leaders, great leaders in 
in Nigeria, in Africa, and all over the world, leader of integrity, leader mm. of character, mm. leaders that are approachable, that are honest, that can stand the test of time. And that is what we are here for. I want to say thank you, Jesus. I want to say thank you to everyone. I want to say thank God for the updates you've seen in Cetrus Foundation. This is the space that has always been just without anything, without any uh, props, any, one what's of it the, called? One of these days, we are actually going to do a tour video to show you the improvements we have in the Cetrus Foundation. We'll give you details of that in a separate video where you'll be able to see what and what we have been able to achieve to put more in place for the comfort and training of these youth. And we are so happy. If there's anybody that is giving us joy here in this foundation, we talk of this young boy that you are seeing here. He's the one filming, doing this filming. We will even show you some of the pictures we've trained him to uh, in editing. Let me tell you, we paid, uh, the foundation paid uh, 150,000 naira to That's train about, him. About 300 dollars. That's about plus. 300 plus dollars to train him somewhere in a very big name uh, training, uh, photography training institute. But let me tell you, he can attest to this fact that when he resumed here yeah. at this hub, we have to now start training him in advanced digital photography. And Presently, even as of today, we've just concluded another level of training with him and he's improving in his photo skills. You will see part of his work. And we also appreciate the fact that somebody that we train, we are now able to what? Employ him for the foundation, meaning that what? Other youths that will be coming in, this young chap you are seeing there is so sound. Forget the fact that he's fidgeting sometimes. He's going to be training other youths that will be coming in here. And to be paying a youth that we develop. I think that's the that's best the thing that can ever happen to us. We are happy seeing his face every morning. And that's what we said the foundation is about, that we want to empower this. Some person say, empowerment, empowerment, mm. what are they doing? No, they're going to do great. They are going places. By the time our terms of trade, balance of trade, if we have a favorable balance of trade, our export is greater than our imports. And how will that be? Look at Sophia now. She's She's a ready to wear guru. Yeah. You see all those things she's making. By the time we're making all these African wares, and look where, where we are able to develop those in the catering department of, very well. Yeah. And maybe some of them even read uh, some uh, food technology and odd likes in school. And they now come here, they're practicing catering. You see, we will be able to export. Nobody will be able to do gra gra to us again, no. <laughs> Let me give you one, Jara. There is somebody we did not mention. There is a youth called Aduni. Presently, she has just gotten admission to the university. She has not gotten; she's processing. Okay. Why are you Why are you talking about my students? Okay. That is Aduni the Obiomatela. <laughs> Aduni happens to be a very funny youth. She's with me in the fashion department in the Cetrus Foundation hub. Uh, she just came in. She said. I have passion for fashion, and truly she has passion for yeah. fashion. But she's been learning, she's been doing it the Obioma, the Lord's way, back, 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 cut. So when she came to the foundation, you know, I am an online fashion instructor. We do uh, some structured uh, trainings. Uh, we teach uh, pa basic patterns and all the likes. So she now said, ah, this is the difference between going to fashion school and just being a tailor. You have to take measurement. You have to draw this. You have to get it right. And, and I'm so happy for her. She's improving. Right now, she's preparing for her exams into the university. But I know that girl is going to places. Because if you say someone has passion oh, for something. Oh, she does. She has passion for she fashion. She keeps her time. Yeah. And when she's she not comes, coming, she will tell you. And she's she, coming from a very long distance. Her distance. Every time to the foundation for fashion training. So I want to say thank God for all these youths and everyone. Our middle name is Ewikwe. Esope. <laughs> and there are so many other sets of youths we've been showing you. As in, you know, we have these sets of youths as in... They are into drama and they are into photography and all the like. So you still be seeing updates about them. They are around us here in this estate. <laughs> okay, conclusively, I want to tell you this. That in case you are seeing what I'm wearing, you are seeing what I'm wearing, please patronize my market too, so that I can also take care of myself and my own children too. <laughs> okay. See, what I'm wearing is totally by Cetros. So, in case you need some African wear, Jim, Jim Barak. <laughs> 
in case some of you outside there, you need some African wears, African swag, you know. Let me let me show you now. Let me show you. Let me do shakara. Uh, I'm uh, handsome. Uh, 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 they used to uh, tell me that I'm very, very fine. You like to to to, to, to if I'm not handsome, you won't marry me. You like to talk I'm about a, am I not a fine boy? <laughs> <laughs> so please, uh you can you can get some of these wares from us. Just order. Uh, just reach out to us on the number flying below. And so many of our youths, so many of our youths that are working on some productions now, we send some fabrics to the lady in the east to make some dresses. So by the time they send us these designs, please patronize them. And we'll be very good that we are helping these youths to stay afloat. And call Central Media for your photography yeah. and videography. That's yes, why these youths are here. They are ready to travel mm -hmm. abroad and anywhere. And if in Nigeria the places they can travel by hair, they're ready mm -hmm. because the road is not safe. Now. Yeah. So uh, you can just, if you have people that are into O1 oh, Bears, these Events. guys, yes, we supply Please. fabrics and all the likes, and you can call them. That's how you help us to be able to provide more for these youths. Like as we started the foundation, our own job too is really helping the youths, the helping youth. put, yeah. to put some of these structures in place and all the likes. So we want to say, we are grateful. And so, from all of us in Africa, we want to say thank you very much for following us. Thank you so very much for supporting us. Kids. Thank you so very much. And in case your spouse is there, you know what to do. Just grab her like a hot transformer. Kiss her very well. When she's pregnant, you know the price of milk in the market. <laughs> so, with that being said, we want to say thank you. Bye bye. Catch you. Love you. Bye bye. Victor is Please just don't forget sleeping. to like, subscribe, and share this video.